Okay, hey guys, welcome back to Zaylux TV. Today we're going to be doing, uh, I know this setup is kind of weird and I'm wearing a coat indoors, but you know, sometimes I'm cold, you know, I have to shovel today. So I'm going to show you guys how I edit my photos. So starting off over here, this is the picture that I just uploaded on my Instagram. If you want to check out my Instagram, I'll leave a link down below if you want to check it out. But starting off this video, so my subject here is this person. So I'm, gonna, I'm cropping the person into the frame more because if I were to leave it out like this, the car would take up too much of the space. A bit like that. Because I don't want to, I don't want to have that this extra space over here because it wastes a lot of space for no reason and it, it adds extra distraction to my, with my photo. The way I edit my photos is really like different from most people. I don't use a lot of the things that uh, are trending all the time. I don't use Photoshop much except for some retouches and stuff and maybe expanding edges and I just want to raise the exposure a bit. I'm using the Sony a7 III so it has a large dynamic range so it would be really good to edit pictures and stuff and editing was my favorite thing to do when I started photography and this is why I wanted this camera so bad because I knew the potential it has and look what it has to offer right here look I can raise this exposure all the way up almost even three stops I can raise it but it doesn't look normal but just for example uh, there is a lot of like there's not much noise you can notice most of this is snow actually but anyways we're gonna keep it about like right there okay put that like that i don't like having clipping i leave the blacks there i'm gonna raise this clarity a lot because there's a lot of detail that's just not being shown and I want it to be shown. I moved the lens corrections up here because I feel like it changes the exposure a lot. Well, the overall exposure because of the big netting and all that. I'm gonna make a little S curve. I make it darker in the shadows, in the blacks, most of the time, to really get a nice popping image. This is pretty much how I uploaded it. Then I took down, yeah, I took this down a bit because I found it was too distracting for the overall image so I took down the saturation of the building here using the HSL panel here this is really useful you can change saturation, the brightness the, and the hue of any color you want um, but the most important thing you, for my pictures now is the sharpening because if you notice my pictures I try to make them really sharp and this camera is really sharp with this new lens I have the 85mm 1.8 this person is not in focus, but I didn't necessarily want the person to be in focus because I wanted it to be like, because the person was kind of far away. I wanted the trees to be in focus because I wanted them to have like this nice detail in them that, that made them like pop. So you look around the whole frame. Next up, sharpening. So when you do, you hold option on Mac. It makes it black and white, so it's easy to see the sharpening. And uh, I think 90 is about good. For landscapes, you want to go under one for the radius. And I want more detail in here, like I said. And uh, I'm going to leave the masking. The masking helps sharpen specific areas. And noise reduction I won't put because it just softens the image. I'm going to put some big netting because it's going to add some drama to it. I add a bit of of this most of the time it just adds overall redness to the to my images um, it depends on the image though i don't do it to, to portraits anymore because it just makes skin look too weird it depends on the skin though okay so the last thing i did to this image uh was just some little adjustments if i was to do more i would probably do it in photoshop but right now i'm just gonna leave it here so i just Darkened here a bit. Okay, then I raced over here to lead it, lead the eyes to the subject, right? And then the, the thing that most people don't do that I do is dehaze. Use dehazing, but in minus to add snow effects that uh, you probably wouldn't think of. Um, 
So the way light normally would go through snow, like a more snow, if there was more snow, it would be more dramatic, it would be like this. It would make this effect, this, this fogginess. So that's why I added that. I wanted to make it look like it was a blizzard. I'm not going to add too much because it'll look fake. Then I'm going to put it a bit less like that. I think that's good. Maybe a bit of clarity in there. Two, okay. So this is the before and the after. So as you can see, what I did basically is just brighten up and make it more alive because you don't want your picture to be flat. Anyways, if you guys like this video, leave a like and a comment and maybe subscribe because I need subscribers. And if you like this type of content, just let me know because I don't know. I kind of like uh, telling people how I edit pictures, but I don't think anyone really asked me about that before, but I like doing it. So.